What's up, y'all? We're going to do a quick, short unboxing on one particular product. And I do this because every so often I've had questions about this little row of key blanks right here. That's right. That is a Chateau Key Blank. Chateau Key Blank. Chateau is a company that primarily sells to storage companies. These fit the locks. They're little Chateau branded locks that are on, uh, that they use to sell in a retail environment in storage room places. When you go in to rent one of those storage units up front, they, it's a retail item. It's padlock, padlock your storage room. They, they're not, they're not great padlocks, unfortunately. They're, they're, and, and if Chateau sees this, then I um, apologize, but in the scheme of things, a $10 Chateau padlock compared to a nice Avis, well-made, there's a huge difference from the retail world in the self-storage industry compared to actual Avis key blank. So if we look at this Avis key blank right here, which fits Avis disc locks, just like Chateau makes, we see, we see it's, it's the same blank, but it's, it's the same blank right but it's not quite also the y the yale the y52s or the y whatever's uh this particular one is actually longer we can hold that up we can see that the chateau blank is a longer blank that is easily rectifiable by indexing it from the tip and just cutting that shoulder black back there's there's plenty of room to cut the shoulder back on that so if we hold that right there, you can see that you'd have to take off about three thirty seconds of an inch off the shoulder of it to make work. Uh, but the alternative is to order Chateau. And then some people have been like, well, how do you order Chateau? Well, you, you can, but let's go up front. And I say you can kind of hesitantly. When you order Chateau, and, and when I first ordered Chateau, it was because we had a customer who had a bunch of what are called bullet locks. They go in what's called bezel locks by Chateau that are built in. They've got this thing. There's this hole in it, and, and I'll show you. Hold on. So this is what I mean by bezel lock, Chateau bezel lock. Uh, it goes in the little, there's a, a hole cut just for this, and you see this tailpiece you've got a tubular key they also come flat keys but and you turn it and and then you just pull it out and then you you put it in the hole and then turn it back just like that and and it won't come out barely held in there but it's just perfectly designed for that there are this is a there's like a short and a medium i believe this is the medium we were able to order from Chateau initially because we needed to order like 30 of those, which is a pretty big order. And when we first called, Chateau was like, listen, yo, I said, hey, we're a locksmith company in Jackson, Mississippi. We've got customer with these things on and we need to order new locks for their doors. And they were like, you are aware that we sell to storage companies, right? And I was like, I'm fully aware that you sell to storage companies, but we are a company that has customers that has your products and we need to order. And after a little bit of humming and hawing and then company identification, they decided to go ahead. Now, I don't know if it was because it was like a $300 order at the time, but ever since then, we have not had any problem. We have an account now. We just call them and put an order in. And now it's mainly keys. Every so often, we still have to order some of these. They do keep our records, so we can say, hey, we ordered X number of these on a certain date. We need them keep the same. We need them keep different than what was before. Uh, but today, we have in some key blanks. We have in... So, apparently, they've got four different key blanks. Let's take a look at them. That's the, are they sealed? I see Ziploc, but I also see a, ah, okay. All right, so these are the ones that we just showed, like a six pin 
six pin key. Let's see what these are. This is that's the uh, CKB6G, which is what I have over there. That's just a restock for that. Uh, we've got a C744-750. This is all for the different styles of Chateau lock. So, uh, and even here, this is the key blank 970 CKB6W. That's, that's 6W, 6W, that would be this white one. So in this case, we would need to use the white key. Uh, and people also like it when they come in and they get keys that are exact. They, they think, hey, that key is going to work because it's exact. Is there any difference? She said there was... She said there was a difference, but I am not seeing much of a difference in the two at all. Same length, just whitehead versus... Gray head, interesting. Let me get a micrometer and answer the phone. Freaking spam callers. Let's see if there's a difference here. Zero that out. We got 269. 269. No difference. White head or gray head. So that was this one. That was this one. All right. Uh, C744. 6B. That is literally the same thing. KB6G, 744B. How is it different? How is it different? I asked her specifically, 69. I asked her specifically if they were the same, and she said no. So, let's flip through this padlock book real quick. Okay, there's those bezel locks. See what I mean? They just slip right in. Uh, so let's go. Let's go there. All right. Maximum key changes. The C970 padlock uses uh, the CKB6W, which I did not get. Nope. That's those. Whitehead. Yep. So that fits the 970 padlocks. Six pin. All right. Uh, let's see, 870, nope, that is, uh, did not get those. 870? Let's see, 870 KB, did not get 870 KBs. I'm not sure why. She said one of them was for, uh, like a management type key. So I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, even these little, little, little padlocks, C950. If we want the key blank for 744, 750, 744, 750 for 744 padlock, which is, which is an inch and three quarter laminated. I guess this is it. So just a little laminated padlock goes with, this one, which was this one. It looks exactly the same, I might add. Uh, and uh, lastly, you've got those hinge heads. We've got some, they sell these word locks. We all know that a pair of pliers will rip that guy right open. I don't know what's up with the hinged key blanks, but if we look at them, we can probably tell they are also exactly the same. They just have this hinge head and are more expensive. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Let's see, 6G. Oh my God, it's the same key. Same length and same same, pretty much same blade height, close enough. Uh, so, yep, uh, I've been bamboozled. I could have, well, probably could have just got away with with those, but now maybe if somebody comes in, uh, see, that you can't tell the difference between these two. There's no other markings on them to tell the difference. So if I put this here and this here, technically that's two different key blanks. So... Long story short, if you're going to order key blanks from Chateau, I would just go with the CKB6G.
That's the regular one. Uh, if you really, really want whitehead and want to offer whitehead, then order the 6W. 6G would be gray. 6W would be white, obviously. And uh, KB, 6G, KB, KB, KB. Uh, KB, I don't know. I'm saying that KB is for some kind of swivel mechanism. Uh, not needed at all. Not really sure of the point because that seems just like it would break better. But anyway, <laughs> we can sell them for more if somebody comes in with a swivel-headed keyway, which we do, see, we do see these a lot. We see these a lot and we see these a lot. So I'm just going to pretend like those are all the same because they practically are unless I actually go buy the locks. And I don't want to do that because I sell Abus padlocks, but uh, six white was unnecessary. But I guess if somebody comes in with white heads, then we can cut them exactly what they want. And as a retail locksmith shop, we have a lot of these come in. In fact, I saw them on two different key rings today. I saw Chateau keys like this. So very big popular item. Again, you could use the Abus keys, cut the head back. You could use the Y, whatever the Y key is. It's either Y56 or the longer Y6 version. Same thing. The only problem with those is sometimes they're just a little bit off. They're like a little bit thicker. And on about 10 to 20% of the Chateau padlocks, you go to put the key in the keyhole and it's really, really tight. That can be fixed by kind of lightly sanding the edges. But again, when you when somebody comes into our retail establishment and has one of these keys and you say, sure, and grab them the freaking exact key that looks just like theirs, they're pleased as punch. You can sell them for more because A, they're rubber head, B, they're OEM, and, uh, and the customer just feels a little bit more comfortable when they have an exact key compared to something that may or may not work. So anyway, just to let you know, Chateau Company, you can't just call and order a pack of keys because I don't think they're gonna like that very much. I think if you decide you need to order keys or locks, if you decide to sell their locks, they do have very affordable, uh, you know, locks that you could sell. But you're a locksmith. You're not a storage company. I wouldn't recommend that. I would leave the locks to them. But if you're a retail locksmith and you have a storefront or you have customers that have those that are often needing keys made, I would definitely order at least the C K B 6 g and then if you want to be ultra fancy with them the ckb 6g flippy head deal and charge more obviously these are going to cost more uh and then white you know now that we have the white if we see white come in we'll just cut them on white if we see gray come in we'll just combine those and and cut them there so a little bit redundant there but that's okay because we do cut quite a few of them anyway just thought y'all would know that yes you can order from chateau but yes you may run into a little bit of a problem they will more than likely tell you and please don't bring up my name i don't want to get in trouble for sending people that way but uh if you have a large order to do uh, especially with these if you run out these are on roll down gates if you, have, uh, if you have a customer that has these and they need to switch them out, if you order 10 or 12 of them and then don't order, don't, don't, don't order the tubular blanks, I might add. You can use standard ACE, you know, 137Bs. The tubular blanks they send, don't get. Don't get them at all. Don't even. Uh, but yeah, they fit like this. They, they, they come out with new designs all the time. And the, the bezel version is the one I was talking about, which is, which is right here. Then, and you know, if you need boxes or signs or whatever else, like here we go, bezel latches. So you know, just, it slips in the hole. The one I was talking about was this, the common one that we have in our area is, um, like a big oval plastic looking. I got, see how many different ones I got? Where is it? Where is it? Now look at this. Here's another interesting thing. You got bolt latches. You know, as a locksmith, sometimes these things are good to have too. These things blocking out. So it is another supplier that you can go through. 
Uh, just be aware that they are going to want you. There's their key blank listing. Don't, don't get those. Don't get those. Bad idea. Uh, and yeah, just, uh, just be prepared to be shut down if you're trying to call and order like one bag of blanks. I don't know. They may do it nowadays. They may have relaxed because this, I, I started dealing with them like 10 years ago. And ever since then, we haven't had a problem. But again, if you explain that you are a locksmith company and you just have customers that come in all the time wanting to make copies of the keys and you would love to sell their OEM product to these customers who purchase their product, you may be able to sweet talk your way into ordering it from them. Anyway, Chateau Key Blanks. Just thought I would answer that question because it has been posed to me a couple of times to people who do, I guess, see those as much as we do. Self-storage is a big thing nowadays and self-storage places will happily sell you padlocks with one or two keys. I don't know how many comes with them. I'm assuming two keys, but they will also have absolutely no idea on how you can go get extra keys made. So that's where we as locksmiths come in and sourcing keys like that. Again, we can come over here to the Yale section and see the version. This 997A is pretty much a like a seven pin. Like that'd be the closest maybe version of it. The reverse is the Y52. Y6 is a little four or five pin. Uh, it can't really, it could be cut back, but it's, that's pushing it because those are like, those are like four or five pin and, and those are, are way longer. So yeah, Y52 is actually, this is in the wrong spot. 997ER. Y52 would be your closest option to that. So, of course, you could always cut this and let's take it up and let's just see real quick before we finish off. Again, just a wee bit shorter. So, index it from the tip in your machine. Right there. Yep, and then just cut that shoulder back a little bit. But, you know, if you're able to, if you cut a lot of them, maybe a good idea just to go ahead and see if you can't get started ordering through Chateau. And thanks again for watching, y'all. If you have any questions or comments on this video or any others, post them in the comment section, and we'll catch y'all next video.